This video is brought to you by OWC. Because laptops are designed to be so lightweight and portable, having two computers for work and home is becoming sort of a thing of the past. People use their machines for work and then they travel and then they're at home. And sometimes when you're working at the office or you're at home, you might want to dock your MacBook to sort of give it that desktop-like feel. And so in this video, we're gonna go over my MacBook Pro desk setup, and we're gonna check out some of the accessories or devices that have helped me seamlessly switch between being on the go or docked at home. Most of the time, my 15 inch MacBook Pro's display is great, but you know there are times where you just kind of need to go bigger. And so my external monitor of choice at this moment in time is the LG 32UL 954K Ultrafine Monitor. We actually went hands-on with this monitor a couple of months ago, and so if you're interested in seeing out the full video, go ahead and check out the card or the link in the description down below. But the design of this monitor is very clean and the display quality is simply fantastic, and it fits great with my current setup. The 32UL950 has a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. The monitor also supports high dynamic range and its big selling points are the colors. This monitor offers some fantastic color range with DCI-P3, meaning it reproduces digital color content and looks just like it did while shooting your subjects. The monitor has excellent color accuracy, which allows for better shadow details, colors, brightness and saturation during editing and post-production. In a nutshell, if you're a graphic designer, photographer, video editor, or really you just want a great monitor with awesome color accuracy, then this monitor might be the one for you. It's the perfect counterpart to my MacBook's display, and for those days, I just need to go bigger. If I'm docking my MacBook completely, I use the 12 South Book Arc stand for my MacBook Pro. The stand comes with a few different types of rubber inserts to ensure a perfect fit so that your MacBook doesn't slide around, and it's made up of quality aluminum, which feels very durable and pretty well made. It's a simple accessory, but a necessary one to help free up some of that space on your desk, and of course, so you can dock your MacBook Pro. If you want to use your MacBook's monitor as maybe a secondary display when docked at your desk, 12 South also makes a handy stand for that too, which will give you some more desk space and bring the MacBook's display a little bit closer to the height as your external monitor. All right, so we're all docked up and we got our monitor, but now we're gonna need some peripherals and I'm one of those weird people who like the butterfly switches on the new MacBooks and I also like the wireless magic keyboards that Apple sells too. I've never had any issues with my keyboards, thankfully, and I really like the feel of them. So for my keyboard of choice, I usually just use a magic keyboard in space gray and either my magic trackpad or my absolute favorite wireless mouse is the Logitech MX Ergo. This guy looks like something from the late 90s with that huge form factor and giant protruding trackball, but as the name implies, it's very ergonomic and it keeps your hand and wrist at pretty much a natural and very comfortable position. You can actually rotate between having your wrist flat or more in that side position, which is a position that I tend to find most comfortable. But the trackball is a fantastic addition. I never thought I would say that, and I was a bit skeptical using a trackball in this day and age but I honestly might never go back. I've been using this since they came out with this mouse and it's really hard for, to find anything that is better for me. In terms of storage and Thunderbolt docks for my MacBook Pro, I'm actually using something that just came out recently that checks both boxes. This is the Glyph Thunderbolt 3 dock and it is a Thunderbolt 3 dock that gives me access to many more ports than my MacBook Pro, but it also has a built-in one terabyte SSD as well. So now when I'm docked at my desk, I get two additional Thunderbolt 3 ports, a display port, an SD card slot, two USB type A ports, a USB C port, an audio out and a mic port and a gigabit ethernet port. So you get all of that port variety and oh yeah, there's a spot for an NVMe SSD for external storage. Now for the model that I have here, this already had the SSD built in, but I'd probably recommend just buying the one without the SSD and picking one up on the side as you'd probably save a little bit of cash there. But if you don't want to even worry about doing that or just worried that you wouldn't know how to do it, Glyph offers the all-in-one package like you see here. This next product technically doesn't live at my desk, but it plays a huge role in how I continue to manage my storage as an editor and somebody who just likes to keep everything because you never know when you might need it. When I'm on the go or in a different part of the home or the office, I can easily access all of my files and video projects from this Synology NAS or network attached server. 
I'm not super into the network world and I won't even begin to act like I know all of the inner workings of a NAS system quite yet, but setting up this particular NAS and getting copied over has been super easy. The DS1618 Plus has six bays for your hard drives or SSDs, and then a few various ports on the back for SATA and ethernet connections, etc. Since you need to connect your NAS to your router, I'm only using the one ethernet port on the back, but once you do this and you have everything set up, you can access all of your files from your NAS on any computer. So going back to this specific MacBook setup, even though it's not technically on that desk, it's a huge part of how I work on this MacBook, especially with the limited amount of internal storage that this computer has to offer. There are tons of other different apps and features that this NAS is capable of offering. And if you want to see a more in-depth video, please let me know in the comments down below. But I absolutely love being able to access my files from any laptop, phone, or tablet that I have and access them anywhere in the world that I might be. You can actually pick up any NAS compatible hard drives for this setup, but I went with two Seagate IronWolf SSDs and two Seagate IronWolf Pro hard drives. Seagate is one of the leaders in this space, and they actually built one of the world's first purpose-built NAS SSDs, and these things have been blazing fast. SSDs will be a bit on the pricey side, especially for more storage, and that's why I went with the larger 14 terabyte IronWolf Pro drives to store all of my archived footage. The two SSDs and this NAS system can actually allow for me to store project files and work right from the NAS if I choose to do so, which means I can start projects docked at my desk and then go home and work on them there. Highly recommend these drives and exploring a NAS solution for your home or office setup. So that's it. That is how I use my MacBook Pro when I'm docked at my desk. And of course, I would love to hear from you and how you guys use your MacBook, whether it's on the go or docked at home. So let me know in the comment section down below what products you use. And if you want to check out even more great options, be sure to check out today's sponsor, OWC. OWC could basically serve as a one-stop shop for almost this entire video as they specialize in storage, memory, docks, etc. In fact, their Thunderbolt 3 docks will give you access to a ton of additional IO ports that you may be lacking from your Mac. And there's even an awesome travel USB-C dock that I have in my bag at all times. I also use OWC's Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, which has a few hard drives from the company itself, which gives me even more backup and storage solutions between this Thunderbolt 3 enclosure and my NAS system. As I mentioned before, OWC offers a wide range of products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C docks, and they even started selling quality new and used Apple products at great price points. For more than 30 years, OWC has been committed to one goal of constant innovation and great customer service in order to create DIY solutions for customers to get the most out of their technology. For more information or to browse more OWC products, head on over to MacSales.com. As always, thanks again for watching. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors, and I will see you in the next one.